Hi guys, have you ever had knee pain? Most of us have, I have. Now in cycling it could be something just as simple as adjusting a saddle height, um, but sometimes it could be just a little bit more than that. And that's why today we've got Lucy in from Athletica Physiotherapy just to help us out. So when we're dealing with knee pain, I see the biggest problem is generally quad dominance. So as cyclists, we generally use this muscle more than most of other muscles in our leg. Now this muscle is involved in bending and straightening our knee and as cyclists, we're going to be doing a lot of that. And when we say dominance, it's basically that this muscle is doing a lot of work, it gets very tight, and then we end up with pain sort of traveling down the tendon and down towards the shin. And this can give you a lot of grumbles around your knee. Yeah. But there are other structures in the knee that can get injured, and these include meniscus, which sits in the knee joint, and ligaments, which help keep the structure of your knees. Now, these generally get injured with a traumatic-based injury. So we're looking at sort of coming off your bike, hitting something, if you're mountain biking, um, or on clipping in a weird direction and something feels uncomfortable. Um, but we genuinely, you genuinely know what's caused that because you've had an event and you've noticed it. What we see in a lot of knees is it kind of, you report like a grumble or it's kind of on and off or it's there, but it's not and it's not really got a pattern and that's where we see that the quad's the issue and so I can show you a couple of little exercises that can be really useful just to take some of the discomfort away from that knee. So I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do sat down. So very simply you're going to bring your leg into a figure four position. Now if you've got knee pain you're probably want to going to have one hand under there to support your knee then all you do is lean forward and as simple as that. Now this is to help stretch your glutes out to so the muscles around your hip joint because if they're really tight everything else gets tight the second exercise this is for your hamstring yep. and again in seated one hand behind the back of your leg yep. and you just straighten your leg now if you've got tight hamstrings that can be enough for you yep. but if you've got sort of good movement like my knee does all you do again lean forward and there's a better hamstring stretch you can hold it or you can bend and straighten that hamstring and this is going to get at the back of your knee all the way through to your hip you might get some tingles with that just because your sciatic nerve runs down there and if you're getting any of that I'd probably go and get that checked as well and so the third exercise I'm already in the position this is to get that nice big quad muscle and a little bit into your hip flexor and you simply put one foot on a chair your other foot in front and you just drop into your leg and it's as simple as that. So if you want to find out a little bit more uh, about you know, what you can do for yourself or if you need any more help, please do get in touch with Lucy at, at Athletica. Um, and if you're looking for a new bike and you want to come and try one for size, come here to Big Bear Bikes and uh, come and see us. Thanks very much.